Look at him, bro. Look at him. This is why, guys. This is why. Look, look where he's at. He's right here. You see the the ramps? This is why. This is why. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Bro, my goodness. Mira pa eso, caballero. Look at this. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at the back on him, bro. There it is, guys. That's Fred the Croc. Welcome to Miami. This is the Chit Show, guys. Starring the show, the star of the show, Fred the Croc. Oh boy, he's turning over here. Perate, perate, perate. Oh boy. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, guys. I, honestly, he's a little too close. Look how close I am. Holy, this is the closest I've ever been to him, guys. I'll tell you right now, I don't think I'll ever get this close again to him. But dude. No, what? Hey, you're gonna have to be jumping in there now to save that truck. <laughs> All right, guys. Right now, I am actually filming a recovery of a boat. I'm sorry, of a truck that just went down. But uh, I don't know who wants to do that. Who wants to do that job? Where'd he go? I can't tell you, bro. That's a top secret. I can't tell everything, bro. No, listen. Come here, come here. Are you gonna be the diver that's gonna go inside? All right, guys. Um, good luck. Uh, I hope you hook it up right because this is that's the that's the diver who's gotta hook up the truck, guys. Over here, it's it sucks. But we're here at Black Point. This truck just went in the water. Fred, Fred just passed by here, guys. And uh, it's funny because I just told the police officer, I said, hey, aren't you worried about the crocodile? He's like, the crocodile? I go, I go, I go have you worked this marina before? He goes, nah, I know the crocodile. He goes, he was, he was messing around with me. He goes, he knows the crocodile. So, just the fact that he's there right now is going to be one of those interesting scenarios. So, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and see this recovery. They're going to bring uh, they're going to bring a tow truck now. So let's see what happens. They had to bring they had to bring a big boy out here, guys. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at the size of Fred. Holy smack. Bro, that this is not real, bro. Oh, 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 hey, hey, I don't think the diver should go in there, bro. Yeah. 
They're watching for the, the crocodile guys. So everybody is spotting. He was just talking to another officer right now to make sure that Fred the Croc is not in the uh, neighborhood because obviously it's a concern here, right? So um, he was on the other side, but everybody is on all the ramps making sure that he's not in the area. Obviously, since there's somebody in the water, so I'll tell you, um, you guys just saw how big he is. Uh, I, I will honestly tell you that's the closest I've personally ever been to, to Fred. And um, I don't think I've ever seen how big he is. And you know, on camera, you can't, you can't, it, it doesn't display what you really see. So when you see him for yourself, that, then things are a little bit crazy. Here's the operator of this giant um, tow truck it has a crane too this is pretty interesting I'm, I'm curious to see how this is gonna work guys do me a favor smash that like I want other people to see this video if you haven't seen the chit show and the, the ramp commentary that I do at black point obviously this is a lot more serious today um, there's there's a, a company that you know is is here this is their truck you know this is their work truck so this is obviously gonna be a problem for somebody This guy is working everything with that thing on his on his stomach. That's basically like a remote control. How sick is that? Huh? That's pretty crazy. Hey, where's your buddy? Where, where's your buddy? Diver still in the water. Now, the pr the procedure is. like that's uh, one of the people who are, who are either helping with the boat or maybe I'm involved with the boat I don't know uh, what I was gonna tell you guys is that the procedure is since it's a county park guys if this happens the police when they arrive have to take uh, and do the actual service or the job to get this out of here because it's a county park if, if for liability issues somebody gets hurt or something then it'll be a problem so Obviously, if you get out your truck or your car or whatever it is before they come, then, you know, it is what it is. You got some boats coming out of here, out of the actual ramps. It's 
pretty crazy how that crane works. Guys, I'm looking behind me, making sure Fred also is not close by because, okay, just so you guys know, when we were filming a little earlier when we started this video, he was, he was eating over there on, not this one, the very following one, that's where all the food is. So, diver's gonna hook up now. He already has the cable. pretty impressive how how that crane just can get this this close now they couldn't do it with a regular one because that's that's a landscape trailer and it's, it's loaded with debris Okay, he said he got it hooked up. Now, obviously, he's going to have to move from there because there's going to be um, a distance from the snapback area. Even though for that for that uh, cable to to snap with that um, weight, was, that's why they actually had to get a big uh, truck. Getting a little bit of tension too. Man, this is, this is, oh boy, what is that? What happened there? Also, he, he's actually getting it at an angle so it doesn't come out not too straight so it doesn't mess up the axles. Even though, guys, that's a total loss. I mean, the, the, I, I, I'll fix it. I, Cause I'll try to fix everything, but, but uh, an insurance company will consider that a total loss. Now that's a brand new aluminum body right there for for the for the trash. So that's not going to be bad. What's going to be a problem there is 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 the engine and all the wiring and all that crazy stuff. I'm going to put some more tension on it. Divers back in the water on the other side. He's, he's hooking up the second line. Some heavy duty uh, cables. Should be coming out any minute now. Obviously, a lot of people over here um, probably came to dinner uh, at the at the marina. Guys, there's a really good restaurant over here. If you guys don't know, at Black Point. So if you do ever come and you want to watch the Chicho live, a lot of people will watch it over there. And um, 
then uh, they'll go to dinner and there's a, a really good restaurant over there and I would encourage you guys if you come this way definitely make some time to have a good dinner I'm putting a little bit more tension on it now looks like he's gonna check it again All right, so divers out of the water, and uh, it's all hooked up, guys. He he was brave enough to do it. Let's see what happens here. All right, so he's putting a little bit of tension on here. Nothing has moved yet. Somebody's on the back. There it goes. It's starting to move a little bit, guys. They're adjusting the back of the boat, too. I think they're just going to take the boat off. It's probably still hooked up. Yeah, they're gonna unhook the boat. Or maybe it's already unhooked, who knows? Police officers going back there. Oh, okay. The trailer was the problem. Remember, it's it kinda, it's like jackknifed in there, so. Oh, he's got to drive it out. Since, since the back pole is not letting the boat get out, and you see how it's kind of wedged in here? The police officer is telling to push off, pull it over a little bit forward and then push it forward at an angle. There you go, he's gonna get it now. There you go, there you go. That's it, that's gonna get it out of there. No, no, but don't put it in gear yet, yeah. All right, there it is. All right, so that's it, now it's free. He can, uh, he can continue doing his job. We got a good position here, guys. He's adjusting it. Look how he had to adjust it over here, guys. So he's making sure it comes out straight so it doesn't mess up anything else. Wow. It's a landscaping company. curious where the bumper was because that's not nothing else has happened I don't know where that bumper is I don't know what's the story it's incredible how this guy's doing all the work with that little remote say smash a like for roadway guys these guys uh, came really far really fast to get this done
Wow, man, look at that water, dude. Now the famous open the door scene is gonna happen right now, guys. He's gonna open the door. I wonder if he does it on this side. Now this side, he's not gonna be able to do it because they looked like they damaged the door trying to get into it. It's a lot of water, man. Look how he's turning it. The trailer is still hooked on to it, by the way. So I don't know what's going to happen now. But we'll see now in a minute. She's almost out of the water. So how much, what, it, it's, it's on Craigslist already? It's already on Craigslist. It's already on there? Super wow. Clean. Super clean? That's rude. That's rude. See, the owners are going to listen to this video and they're going to say Alfred's a monster. But I'm just repeating, repeating what the guy behind me, I'm going to put you on camera. Yeah. Right? Uh, you're filming while you're in Cuba? You're in Cuba right now, Really? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So, all right, guys, the chit Hey, take care, bro. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you while I was filming. Life is too uh, short I'm working. To be serious. Yeah, listen, I, I'm with you, bro, but not everybody gets it at the moment, you know? It's hard to absorb at the moment. So he said I was live, he said I was live in Havana. He, he was streaming from here live to Havana. Uh, guys, so somebody behind me now, the people that had just left were actually live streaming and uh, they were watching this happen in uh, Havana, Cuba. That's pretty insane, right? When you think about it. I, you know, you guys know I always go live. That's why I always tell you guys to put your notification bell. But since I wanted to capture the whole story, I, I didn't want to go live. I didn't want any disruptions or anything like that. Obviously, it's heated over here because of what's going on. And
so the operator has made adjustments. How crazy would it be if he busts his ass right here? Hey, hey, that ramp is a slippery ramp, bro. That 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 tow truck driver better. Make, don't film me. Film him, bro. Trust me. Go ahead, do it. Welcome to the chip show. All right, guys. So the uh, chip show continues over here at Black Point. Now, now everybody's filming me. They're not even filming the boat anymore. They're filming me. A lot of people came up, you know, said hello and. So, so look, he's he's adjusting the steering wheel so he can pull it out. Look, anything that can minimize any damage here, guys. I think even though this is probably a hundred percent total loss on an insurance side, I mean, somebody somebody can make good use of this. You want me on channel seven, bro? You want to be on channel seven? Come here, man. Is that your boat? No. <laughs> I guess he was just driving the boat. Oh, the windshield wiper. The trailer's still on. Oh boy, it's, it's gonna go back in. Those guys, the ramps have been pressure washed recently and uh if you see here you see here uh, this has been brought up this has been brought up so they pro they pressure washed them recently so they'll wait for low tide which is this is about low tide right now so you see all these marks here back and forth that's the pressure washing that they've recently done so definitely a challenge um, to keep up with all the algae and everything that happens so hey did you see the croc by any chance or no 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 oh I, I gotta go I'm gonna end this video then I gotta go <laughs> out of here guys Avram Montana making a scene um, you guys don't really want to watch the rest right ah uh, yeah maybe maybe we'll, we'll, we'll show the rest we'll, we'll stick around we'll stick around a little more um, I guess we'll watch the uh, tow operator work and do the final steps. It's always pretty impressive to watch these guys that do their craft every single day work, huh? I'll tell you, he's been uh, a gentleman when it comes to minimizing damage, guys.
the manatee. Damn. But when, what, what do I always say? When you see the manatee, you're going to see Fred. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Look how cool. Beautiful, huh? Look, look, look at his back, guys. That's why I'm telling you. Look, there's two of them right here just hanging out. Now, when I film, when I film the chit show, you see this, guys? Look how beautiful that is, man. When I film the chit show, I'm right there in that little corner right there. Now, this is the fillet table. Here's the fillet table that you guys see. Sometimes you guys are asking all the time, is it an alligator? No, no guys, it's an American crocodile. And there's signs posted everywhere because they want people to know, hey, there's a giant croc, there's several crocs here, but Fred is the biggest one. Somebody's helping saying, oh. Bystander trying to help out. It just got worse, and the friends are, are, are wow. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.